Hello. So today in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how you can uh, create, uh, how you can analyze your data using three state least square when you have different clusters. For example, if we have a data in which uh, uh, I am taking three type of industries, small industry. Uh, sorry, uh, I, I am taking three, you know, three type of industries. These are manufacturing industries, services industries, and construction industries. Okay, so these three for these three industries, I I want I want uh, the three stage least square model estimation, but cluster wise. So for that, what I will do is what I will do is I will go to statistics, and in statistics. I will go to I will go to here endogenous covariates and here I will go to three state least square. In three state least square, what I will do is I will uh, make my first equation now. I, I will show you my equations also. My equations are like this, and here, and this is the uh, equation and general equation, and second one is the equation for different, different industries. So, for equation one, I will write my first dependent variable here, okay. After this, I will write my all. Uh, I will write all my independent variables which are in the right hand side, and I will use three stage estimation here. And then, when I will go to the second step, here I will, if I am having the exogenous variables, uh, I can write them here. And if I am having additional right hand side endogenous variables, but I will write on there. Endogenous variable in the right hand side will be written there. Okay, and then. If I write my endogenous variable there, then I will not write my endogenous variable here uh, in, uh, while writing the equation of right hand side because I have written here, I have written it here. So now, next thing is uh, if I am having a, 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 the various I these instrumental variables for this endogenous variable, then I will write them here. Okay. After this, I will write. Uh, I will tick this button here, repeated command by groups, and in groups, I will write here the the name of the group, uh, which will show my uh, my different type of uh, industries. So industry value will show me the uh, type. One more way is here where I can uh, use a range of observation if my data is shorted. Okay, so but I am not using that way. But uh, I am using the way in which uh, I am having the uh, the industry value as my variable, which is uh, which is making the um, which is giving the value to the different different industries. Okay, so uh, I will uh, I will estimate this model using the three stage least square method. Okay, and everything else will remain same. Okay. Okay, so uh, here is the result for my first variable that uh, I, I am having in my data uh, different different industries, but uh, here I am taking only one industry. Uh, all the different three uh, three industries they are having the different different results. This is uh, the industry one, which is given as value one. The industry value one is is the manufacturing industry. Okay, so, and uh, it is this is the chi square value. And p value and r square. Okay. So, uh, what is uh, RMSE? It is uh, is the square root of the variance of the residue. Okay. 
So, hopefully, the application data can have to be modeled. So, um, here the the value of R, of R and S D must be uh, the value of R and S D must be at uh, now the value of R and, uh, R and S D indicates the better fit. Okay, so if the value is low for R and S D, it means that it is much better to have this. Uh, your model is much better. So now here uh, I will. Uh, so these are my three industries. Okay, and uh, for all these three industries, the and the three stage list for model has been conducted, and uh, it is conducted separately. So in this way, you can. Uh, the three stages for modeling different different industries so this is the command which i just uh, gave i have written uh, here by industry value shop and this has uh, done I, either you can do it from here or by using this command you have to write the name of the variable here which will indicate uh, the different uh, different industries and this is another way to write it okay now after this if you want to take the output out so you have to use another command that is asdoc okay and asdoc command will give you the result here so here is the output for industry value 1 industry value 2 and industry value 3 okay so for these three different industries we have the we have the output of the data in the MS Word file. So, <clears throat> so this was it. I hope you liked my video. Thanks for stopping by.